Using the calculator to get the five number summary, then draw the box and whisker plot for the data given. Well, the first thing we need to do is in, on our calculator, hit your stat button, it's right underneath the delete button, and you need to pick number one, edit. Now, sometimes you will have numbers in your list. Right now, there aren't any, so we don't really need to worry about it. But if there are numbers in your list, don't forget, go all the way to the top, hit your clear button, and then your enter button, and it will clear out the numbers in your list. Try to use list one all the time, because the calculator defaults to list one. If you use a different list, then there's a little bit more work involved. So try to use list one whenever possible. Okay, now we're gonna type the numbers as you see them. Order does not matter. So we've got eight, 14, seven, 10, nine, five, 13, and 16 from the list that we had on the first screen. Okay. After we do that, we're going to go ahead and have the calculator find the five number summary for us. So the next thing you need to do is hit your stat button again. This time you need to go over to calculate. So right arrow over to calculate. Now number one says one variable stats. That's what we want to pick. So just go ahead and pick number one. Okay. Now it says one variable stats on the screen. We don't, nothing to do here. If we typed our numbers in list one, all we have to do is hit enter. Now the five numbers that we want are not on the screen that we see at this time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down all the way with our down arrow until it won't scroll any further. Now we can see the last five numbers on the screen. We have the minimum, which is five. Q1, standing for quartile one, is 7.5. The median, 9.5. Q3, 13.5. And the maximum is 16. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do, is we wanna go ahead and make the graph for the five number summary. We have the numbers, now we just need to make the graph. So what we wanna do, first of all, is make a number line Now, looking at the numbers, remember the minimum was five and the maximum is 16 in this set of numbers. Well, that between five and 16, the spread is not that large. So we can go ahead and start with the number five and then just count by ones, okay? If the numbers are spread out a lot further, you might count by twos, you might count by fives, you might count by tens, okay? Just, you have to look at the set of numbers to determine that. So we'll count by ones. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now, if you recall, the minimum was five. So what we're going to do now is draw a vertical line right above the five. Okay. Then the next number, Q1, was 7.5. So I'm gonna draw a vertical line at 7.5. Then the medium was 9.5. So I'm gonna do the same thing there. I'm gonna draw a vertical line at the 9.5. Then we have Q3, which is 13.5, another vertical line, and then the maximum was 16. So we'll put another vertical line at the 16. Now, we're going to go ahead and connect all of these with a box and with whiskers. Between the first two, the minimum and Q1, we connect it just like that. That's our first whisker. Now, the box is going to go from Q1, quartile one, all the way to quartile three. The medium will be within that box. So we will go ahead and make the box connecting Q1 with Q3. 
And then the last whisker from Q3 to the maximum, connect it with a horizontal line like that. Now, sometimes it's a good idea to also, I know we have a number line there, but sometimes um, it might not be quite as clear, especially if you count by fives or tens. So write the actual numbers on each part of the box and whisker so that the person looking at it knows what each five number is. And that's how we create the five number, find the five number summary and make the box and whisker plot with the calculator.